Brian Kilt. I'm director and co-founder of the Zipyard franchising. We are a clothing alterations franchise based here in Belfast. The Zipyard was actually set up with uh, myself and a friend of mine, Bob Turner, and it was basically the two of us that were, were looking for a struggling business at the time. We stumbled across clothing alterations, but we thought we could revamp the whole sector, and hence we started our first shop in Belmont Road. Franchising was never on the agenda, but we we grew organically to three outlets within eight months. It was then that we actually looked at it and thought, you know, maybe have a look at this and turn this into a franchise. We started franchising late 2006, 2007. The way the franchise works is we obviously offer a, a full turnkey package. So we'll set up a shop for somebody, we'll stock the shop out, we'll put in computers, put in sewing machines. But the, the main thing what we do is we, we offer the training about the operations and the day-to-day -day running of how a business works. And we're here to do mainly the support and stand behind a franchise. The main thing about getting a suitable franchisee is whenever you actually meet them and whenever you engage with them. It's always good for somebody to have some sort of business background. We obviously attend trade shows, uh, franchise exhibitions, and we advertise in all the, the franchise publications. But with franchising, you tend to find a lot of people don't have any business background whatsoever. A franchisee is going to enter a five, seven, ten year franchise agreement. So you need to be happy with them, they need to be happy with you. Most franchise agreements are pretty standard. The franchisee arrange their own finances. They arrange uh, their own leases on premises. So they're basically responsible for all the day-to-day -day business stuff. Our guys have access to our bespoke online shop. They go on and they're able to order all their, their goods, their zips, their threads, their needles, whatever they basically need for, for running a franchise. We do a lot at head office. Once the orders come in, they come in through our bespoke system. Then the orders get put together and they're dispatched within 24 hours. We run under the British Franchise Association, so we're actually accredited to them. And what they do is they tend to make sure that people follow the whole thing about ethical franchising, having a franchise agreement that works for both parties. Whenever you're entering a franchise, you have decided as a franchisee that yes, that's, that's the brand, that's the umbrella that I want to trade under. We're constantly checking quality, checking standards, we use a generic phone number that's up on every single one of the shops that gives customers sort of peace of mind that if they have any problems whatsoever, they can get through to a central office. In hindsight, if we'd taken on a franchise consultant, we probably would have been able to make it to market a lot quicker. Recently, we have just received all the documentation and the licenses to allow us to franchise in the US. Thankfully, we've had the likes of Invest NI who were able to help along with that as well. We are in talks with people in Europe and as far away as Australia. We are convinced that our brand will travel. The three tips I would give would be make sure you know your business model and get to understand your business model. Also, if you're going down the franchising route, get your franchise agreement in place. It is probably one of the key and most important things that you'll do. And also, no matter how long it takes and how much you have to work at it, make sure you get your operations manual in place and keep it on top of it.